It's a murder mystery that has fans hooked as White Lines hits Netflix and takes us to the picturesque setting of Ibiza where a DJ winds up dead and his sister won't stop till she gets the truth about what happened. Take a look. So, how did you meet my brother? It was at my house. He was all wet and wearing a swimsuit <laughs> and holding a Mozart record. This is my daughter, Kika. And he was flirting with my mom. <laughs> and star of White Lines, Marta Milans, is here with me now. Marta, it's so nice to see you. Thank you. Likewise. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. I am, I'm still running off the buzz of watching four and a half episodes of White Lines. Ooh, good, uh, another last, binge watcher. <laughs> yeah, in the last 24 hours, and I am not typically a binge watcher, so that's a lot about this show. And this show, it's got hit written all over it. So it is number one on Netflix across the globe. It is number one on IMDb. So for those who haven't seen the show yet, first, you are missing out, watch the show. Um, but give us the synopsis of the show and how your character fits into this mystery. Uh, well, White Lines is most definitely a roller coaster of emotions, and it condenses every single thing that we have not been able to do during the lockdown, yeah. which is raves, party, dancing, drinking, beaches, music, and it sets it in a beautiful universe of uh, Ibiza, Spain, with the most amazing beaches, the most amazing locations. Uh, the most amazing photography, and the most amazing score. So I think there's a little bit for everyone there. There's a little bit for everyone. It actually made me want to travel there, too, because I have never been there. So I was like, oh, You've oh, never been? You have to come. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, so you're talking about creator um, Alex Pina. He's also the creator of Money Heist. He's got some sort of special thing going on. Um, but he talked about recently being able to, he made the show so that it would appeal to both English speaking and Spanish speaking audiences simultaneously. And I don't think that there are a lot of shows that have done that as well as he's done. Have you ever been a, pro a part of a project that's been able to do this? Um, no, I actually um, was so grateful to be able to be in a project that is so, um, so thought out to be a multilingual, um, a, a, bi a bilingual show. And in itself, it was a, a pretty, anthropological experiment of having a Spanish director, an English director, half of the crew being Spanish, the other half being English, one speaking the language, the other one's not being able to communicate as well. So yeah. there were so many loss in translation moments that made the entire experience so hilarious. Yeah. That, uh, that in itself, as, as a, something you take away from, um, has been wonderful. But I think it's also important in this day and age to transcend frontiers both culturally and linguistically speaking. And I think, you know, especially in the light of, of nowadays of how much we need to come closer to one another, yeah. universally speaking, yeah. I think platforms like, like um, Netflix and the minds of people like Alex Pina are able to do that, where people are no longer afraid to watch a show subtitled in a different country with a different language. They, they can still relate to that. And I think that's, that's really positive. Yeah, and to be transported to such a beautiful place. You grew up there, right? I grew up in Ibiza um, and Madrid. So it has been such a treat to be able to go back home in the summer, see my family and work and enjoy my life. It's been like, um, can we get to do this again, please? Yeah. You talk about, you know, you, you grew up in Spain. Um, you've been in the United States. I know that you have a kind of New York is part of your heart. You went to NYU. You've done theater in New yeah. York. But right before quarantine, you were able to get your American citizenship. So what did that mean? Yes, to you? yes I'm an American now. And um, it's been so exciting, you know, to finally be able to um, become a citizen of a country that I love so much and it's so dear to my heart. And it has granted me so many opportunities. It has opened so many doors for me in the I guess almost 20 years that I've been living here, you know? Well, fans uh, obviously also recognize you from Shazam, and it was recently announced that it will be uh, coming back for a sequel in 2022. Yes! Are we gonna see Billy's mom, Rosa? Uh, Mama Rosa, for sure, is gonna be in Shazam too. Otherwise, heads will roll. Yeah. Uh, all I was, you know, talking to the writers about was, can I get to fly? Can I get my own cape and my own boots? And 
And they were like, okay, we'll look into that. But don't forget that you are the mother to six superheroes. So what more superpowers do you need? Yeah. You know, and it got me thinking. And I said, you know what? I'll take, you know, whether I get a cape or not, yeah. I'm Amorosa. I'm cool. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, moms alone are superheroes. So we can't wait to see the sequel when it comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the meantime, you all should definitely check out Marta in White Lines. It is streaming now on Netflix. Marta, thank you so much for taking You're the welcome. time. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.